We built a clone of uh, McKinsey's AI research agent Lily on Lizer in just five minutes. My name is Siva, founder of Lizer. So earlier this week, we were speaking with one of the largest hedge funds here in New York, and uh, during the discussion, they said they are looking to build something similar to what McKinsey did. So McKinsey actually built Lily, a research agent uh, that allows their analysts and the, I would say the consultants not only search data from the internal knowledge base, but also in parallel search data using say Google or Perplexity, which is from the external knowledge base. So the consultants could search on any topic and Lily would pull all relevant data from both internal and external knowledge bases, thereby giving the consultants a holistic view of all the results on the topic. Now consultants can further brainstorm with Lily on the, I would say, the extracted topics and they can form their own thesis before they go to a client meeting. So that's pretty much how McKinsey Lily works. And Lizer, with the managerial orchestration that we have on the platform, is a perfect setup that allows uh, uh, anyone to build an equivalent, a clone rather, of McKinsey Lily. In about five minutes and then you keep improving it by just uh, working on the agent prompts and working on the knowledge graph. So I'm going to show you how I did it. This is what happens behind the scenes. Log on to studio.lizer.ai. I went to McKinsey's uh, industries page. So I thought I'll provide this as a knowledge base for the agent. So I just copied the URL and step two, uh, go to knowledge bases, click on create new knowledge base and give it a name to it, like say, uh, say sample and just say sample. And I can create, uh, but instead I've already created one, I'm going to go there, so McKinsey Industries. All you have to do is click on Upload. You can either provide PDF or documents, or you can give a website URL. So I'm going to copy this website URL and uh, just put it here. And now I can define how many pages I want the agent to crawl automatically. So I kind of chose 100 pages. And depth is like, if there are sub-pages, the agent can go deeper and search uh, through the branches. That's what it does. So I can give 100 sub-pages. I've already done all of this. So this is the list of all the pages it was able to extract and with which it created a knowledge base. Now, the knowledge base is ready. You can test it out. Uh, say, tell me about, uh, um, say, McKinsey's uh, uh, view, um, say, um, on uh, financial services. So you can see the agent is able to uh, extract data with high confidence. And you can also access the agent uh, endpoint, which is the knowledge base endpoint via an API if required. But that is not the core. The core is how are we going to build uh, an agent that can search from both internal knowledge base, which is this, and the external knowledge base, which is perplexity. So what I did, I built a multi-agent system. All you have to do is get to Lizer Manager, and you can create an agent and just uh, add uh, the manager agent and the sub-agents. So that's what I've done here. If you see, there's a manager agent, and uh, I've given the name, so McKinsey Lily clone, um, obviously fittingly, and then the description and the agent role, goal, just tell the agent, like the role, right? Okay, you're an expert research agent. Tell the agent the goal as well. Okay, understand the customer query and ensure that you answer accurately. And then instructions. Now this is where it gets a little tricky because the manager agent has two sub-agents. So you have to tell the manager agent how it should work with the sub-agent. For example, I've said, look, if the user wants to search only the internal knowledge base, pass the query to the McKinsey internal knowledge agent. But if the user wants to search only the external knowledge base, pass the user query to the external, the internet search agent. And that's what happens behind the scenes. You can see I have an internal knowledge agent. Um, I'll just zoom out. Yeah. Uh, which searches data internally and it is connected to a knowledge graph. So if you see, you can connect it to the knowledge base or the knowledge graph. In this case, we've created a knowledge base, which is McKinsey Industries page I've created. And uh, you also can do agent drag, but yeah, you don't need it right now. And uh, for the external search, I've used perplexity model so that it can do the search and it doesn't need any memory. But however, the ma manager agent, since it's a conversational agent, I have enabled memory also. And you can further configure how much memory do you need. So all of that is pretty straightforward. And we've done the, the agent is ready. And all you have to do is get started. I'm going to chat and I'm going to try the agent. So I'm going to say, okay, you know what? Hi, the agent welcomes. It says, how can I assist you? And I'm, I'm going to say, you know what? Find me more details about McKinsey's view on how retail industry should use AI. So it's gonna search, but before that it's asking me additional questions. Okay, are you interested in a global perspective or just North America? I would say, okay, what North America? And it's also gonna ask one more question. Um, do you want it to from the internal knowledge base or external? I'm gonna say both, both. Um, find the answers from both data sources, all right? And you can see now the agent has is actually asking both the sub agents. The manager agent is asking both the sub agents for data, and uh, it is live. By the way, you can see all the uh, events, 162 events. So you can see all of it. The best part is, Lizer also has age. I mean, I would say human on the loop, which Langchain claims they are the only ones to have. No, Lizer has it. You can actually replay 
the whole event and see how and what happened and when. So human on the loop is available. But the best part is here you could see the agent has extracted data uh, results from internal knowledge base and uh, it also has uh, results from external knowledge base. But this is for testing, right? Now, what I can also do is I can go back to the studio. So this is agents, McKinsey Lily clone, this is the clone. I can also launch the agent as an app or I can access the API endpoint and integrate into Slack or Teams. But I'm also going to launch it as an app instantly. And I can ask the same question here, literally, right? Which is, uh, uh, tell me uh, McKinsey's view on how say banks should use uh, say AI agents. Now, again, it's thinking, you saw visually how it happens in the builder, but you can also launch it as an app instantly, like a Anthropic style, Mana style app. And you can see how the agent is calling the tools. It's asking me, uh, what are the viewpoints? I would say, uh, say from a risk management point of view, right? So risk management point of view. And the agent asks, um, any additional queries? I'm gonna say no, just find data from both data sources and the agent is off to work. So you can build the agent and test it out in the builder uh, platform, uh, but you can also launch the agent as an app here, which you can come back and access, uh, and even the chats, all the history is there. So agent not only has uh, an API, which you can integrate into other software, it also has an interface with which you can interact directly. So yep, the answer is back, beautifully formatted. And uh, boom, you have everything. This is exactly what uh, the consultants of McKinsey are using and we built it in five minutes. Imagine what you could do with this agent when you start improving the agent over a period of time. Create and add more agents. You can either create an agent here or you can just add it from your library. Just create uh, more and more, I would say, uh, layers. You can have any number of layers um, and that is how uh, your overall agent system uh, improves. So, hope you liked it. So, if you want this, just uh, let us know. We'll share the blueprint. Actually, create an account uh, on studio.lizer.ai and build one yourself. It's super easy. Build safe and responsible agents. Introducing Lizer.